Hello PowerPoint users and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to create this beautiful team intro animation using Morph Transition. This template is designed for 5 profiles, but you can extend this idea to even more team members. So let's get started. As usual, let's first enable the guides. Next right click on this slide and choose format background. Apply gradient fill change its direction and then make it a two-step gradient pattern. Let's change the color of other two stops by choosing more colors option and then choose any darker shade color as shown. Following the same steps, let's apply the lighter shade color to the second gradient stop. Next go to insert tab and then draw a rounded rectangle shape. Reduce its size on all four sides. Reduce its corner roundness and then align it to center of the slide. Next apply white color outline and white color fill and then increase its transparency to give it a glossy effect. Next again go to insert tab and then draw a circle shape holding down shift key. Align it as required and then duplicate it 4 more times. Make sure all 5 circle shapes are centrally aligned along the horizontal guide. Remove their fill color and apply white color outline. You can increase the outline weight if required. Next go to insert tab and then draw a vertical line. Align it to middle and then format it with same two step linear gradient as that of slide background. Match the gradient stop colors and then increase its weight. Next go to insert tab and then draw a rounded rectangle shape. Make it completely rounded and now drag and select all circle shape, right click and then bring them to front. Align this rectangle shape perfectly to circle shape as shown. Remove its outline and then choose dark blue as a fill color. Next let me copy and paste the text fields on first slide. I already have them ready to save the time. Change its font color to white and then align it perfectly to the rectangle shape. Let me copy and paste other text fields as well. Align them properly to slide and then change their font color to white. Now these steps are a bit important. Select the slide number 1 and then duplicate it. On slide number 2, select the rounded rectangle shape and its text fields and then align them to second circle shape as shown. Looks perfect. Edit the text fields as required and then proceed to next step. Now select the slide number 2 and duplicate it. On slide number 3, select the rounded rectangle shape and its text fields then align it to third circle shape as shown. Finally, edit the text fields as required. Following the same steps, duplicate these slides two more times, align rectangle shape and the text fields to next two circles and edit the text fields as well. This movement of shapes between each slide is a prerequisite to morph transition. Now one last time, select the first slide and duplicate it. Select the first slide and zoom it out. Now select the rectangle shape and move it outside the slide area and then delete all existing text fields. Let me go to last slide and copy meet our team text field and then paste it onto slide number 1. Align it properly and then change its font color to white. 
Next before applying the morph transition, we will animate all these individual shapes. On slide number 1, select all circle shape and the text fields and then apply fade animation. Let me enable the animation pane to adjust the durations. Now starting from second animation, increase the delay duration by 0.25 seconds to all oval shapes. Now for last two text fields, set the delay duration to 0.5 and 0.75 seconds. Next go to slide number 2, select all text fields and then apply fade animation. Under the animation pane, start first animation with previous and for last animation, set the delay duration to 0.25 seconds. Apply same set of animations to remaining slides, select all the text fields, apply fade animation, start the first animation with previous and for last animation, set the delay duration to 0.25 seconds. Finally, we are all set. Select the last slide and then delete it. Now select all remaining slides and apply morph transition. And then reduce the duration to 1 second. So here is the animation preview. That looks perfect. Next, let me show the quick method to add the profile pics into each circle shapes. To start with, let's make sure we are on slide number 1 and then select the first circle shape. Under the right side menu, select picture or texture fill, then click on insert, choose from file option and then insert the picture you need. Next follow the same steps and add the profile pictures to all circle shapes. One more important point, I purposefully did not add picture placeholders instead of circle shapes as these will lose the animations after adding the profile pictures. So if you ever plan to animate the profile pictures in these kind of templates, using the circle shapes is always a better option. Next select all circle shapes from slide number 1 and then copy them. Next go to slide number 2, delete all existing circle shapes and then paste the profile pictures from slide number 1. As we all know, when we copy and paste the shapes, even animations will be copied. So let's go to the animation pane of slide number 2 and delete the fade animation effect from all 5 circle shapes because we need this effect only on slide number 1. Now copy all profile pics from slide number 2, select remaining slides one after the other delete the existing circle shapes and then paste these profile pictures. So here is the final animation preview. Hope you all liked it. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comment on this video. Until then, stay tuned for next tutorial.